Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We're on the final part, so we'll be defeating Frederick the Walrus and doing the bonus stages, which is always nice. Um, unfortunately, this is also kind of a boss I really, really hate because he has a big ol' hurt box and a tiny little place you can actually hit him. Oh, one of those. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Damn. Combined with just how long these bosses take in the game, it's kind of annoying. And of course, there's no checkpoints in any phase of the boss, so you die, you have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah. How hard would you say this game is compared to the other DKCs in general? Uh, I well, easier than Returns. I think Returns is the hardest one for various reasons. Out of like all of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Returns is just ball-bustingly hard for the sake of being hard. How is yeah. there so much ice? Surrounding a pool of lava. Um, volcanoes are up in the air, and but volcanoes can be mag magma. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. We have a we have a gorilla wearing a necktie. See, <laughs> that can happen in the real world, though. I'm sure it has happened in the. The real way world. this situation should end is all the mice, all the uh, mice, all the ice above the lava melting and raining down on the lava, and then turning to steam, and there not being any ice left. Also, yeah, his his hurt box is really, really small. It's like right behind where the helmet is when he's when he's charging at you. Oh, jeez. So what? not only do you have to not only do you have to avoid his charge attack, you have to also somehow land like right behind where the hit box is to actually hurt. I him. like how he well, generates more force by jumping off the ground than he does by landing on it. I'm pretty sure that doesn't make any sense when it comes to like the laws of physics, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it it's what causes everybody's favorite boss uh, attack and platformers, the shockwave move. Yeah. Well, usually shockwaves are generated when you land. This guy generates more force by jumping off the ground and pushing it down under him, which is the kind of thing that, like, is a total dead giveaway that the designers of this game were Japanese, because that kind of that kind of nonsensical shit is all over anime. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's because you can't do a gigantic charge-up scene that lasts for ten minutes if they're if they're landing. That would just be silly. Now, oh, and now we have slippery floors. It's like it's supposed to, it's supposed to demonstrate how much leg muscle power the character has, you know. But uh, that's like that's that's not how jumping works. <laughs> Have you ever wondered in video games where, you know, the boss, you know, it always does that one move that leaves it open, but then it keeps on adding all of these other moves, and then you wonder why, why but it still does the, the one, one that hurts yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, okay, if you stayed back there and didn't summon minions, if you just, like, stuck with shooting ice dragons at us, maybe. He'd win eventually. <laughs> maybe he'd win eventually. I don't know. Or maybe Donkey Kong would be smart enough to go into the third dimension. Every so I, I, often, he needs to stop and let his MMO cooldowns go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's been playing World of Warcraft Classic 2. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, that's kinda, that's either out or is about to come out. By the I, time this goes up, it'll definitely be out because, yeah. I, it might have had, like, I haven't been keeping attention. It hasn't. It might have had, like, a preview thing. For There's a uh, like I don't know. um you can download the first like two gigabytes of the game or so and reserve your character names on your servers, uh, I think. Ah uh, okay. Hey, two hits in a cycle. How about that? That's not bad. Wow, wow, you'll get world That's... record in no time. Right? It would be, it wouldn't. Oh no, speed speed speedrunners hate the bosses in this game because they're just tedious and boring. It it would make this game, it would make this boss a whole lot easier if you didn't have to deal with ice physics while trying to make these highly precise jumps, but, uh... Yeah. You know. I mean, points for effort, because that's an effective strategy to stop this from, to, st to stop Donkey Kong from, uh, winning, but... I mean, I don't know. I do... I wonder, without, when your only attack is jumping on something, I really wonder how 
you can really improve this, these kinds of things. Because I feel like every platformer where your only attack is, like, jumping has this problem. Like, Sonic, I find many of the bosses in Sonic go on for too long. Mario, many of the bosses in Mario aren't really... Well, they're too short, but that's because it depends. it's the opposite it, problem. It, it honestly depends on which... Um... On which Sonic game you're talking about, because most Sonic games, apart from one or two outliers on the boss list, they're um the bosses can be like killed really quickly and half the half the fun is finding out, you know, what the effective strategy for killing them without, you know, abusing invincibility frames is. Of course you always can ab abuse invincibility frames and break the boss in half, but um well, they're just, well, I just more mean there still are plenty of bosses across the series where your only option is to just wait until... Actually, you know what? The first one that comes to mind is, for some reason, uh, Sonic 4 Episode 1 and the Oh, the uh, Sonic Eggman 4 bosses boss. are terrible. Yeah, I know, but I think, I, I think back to that Eggman boss where you have to wait like specifically until he lands and then his belly goes out. And then you whack that, and then you do the damage, and then it lasts for like yeah. five goddamn minutes. And that's the kind. I hate it. That, that's the kind of thing classic Sonic games generally didn't do. Like there's like the the real end boss of Lava Reef had a waiting period, but you were more waiting for the boss to kill itself and just trying to survive. <laughs> uh, and that was very much the exception that proved the rule there. This boss is like a giant reference to K. Rule. I mean, kind of. Mm. He does the charging like K. Rule did in 1. He does the balls falling from the ground like in 1. <laughs> you didn't the... even bother to beat him up. <laughs> no, he, he's not worth it. <laughs> the yeah, dragon that's... attack was straight up the blunderbuss. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's not really many attacks you can add in a game like this, so they all will feel very Same. similar. Yeah, mm. I don't know like if they were intentionally trying to be similar to K. Rule or not. Like, if they were, then why not just Doesn't bring back K. Rool, K. Rool <laughs> is my question, but... Because he's a crocodile and it wouldn't make sense in the context of Tropical Freeze. They don't really even do anything with the ice in this game anyway. It's they, they don't, and that horn is, like, randomly changing his size, and that makes no sense. It's the Master it's Emerald. A, it's, it... <laughs> the Master Horn. Uh. Oh yes, Magical Flowers! That makes sense, I think. DK, how did you know that that wouldn't just make more ice to appear on the island? That would be a funny because punchline, DK. though. <laughs> because DK know what do. No, he don't know what do. That's he always the problem. Know, he, he always know what do. <laughs> he just somehow does stuff and stuff works for him. So it's now suddenly a saxophone? <laughs> Where's the rap? Okay. You're going to have all these characters playing instruments, and they're not going to even attempt to rap? Wow, Retro Studios, worst game ever, 0 out of 10. Wait a second, why was Donkey Kong not the one playing the bongos? Yeah. Exactly. This, this bongos game, is his thing. It, it doesn't reference Donkey Konga. It doesn't reference Donkey Kong 64. Like, what right does this game have to be a Donkey Kong game? I'm ashamed of it. <laughs> the, <laughs> the titular character of Donkey Kong? Yeah, Donkey Kong is still the worst character in his own franchise, though. So. In terms of raw ability. You know... <sighs> yeah. That's another thing he has in common with Sonic. Her, 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 hey, her, her. at least Sonic has the elemental shields, which can be really, really fun if you know what you're doing. But, yeah, I, I get you. I will actually disagree with you in that one, Ryan. I think the worst character was Kitty. Well, Kitty Kong you, is was... basically just Donkey Kong, but in a onesie, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, but Donkey Kong actually got more abilities and powers as time went on. Kitty. Kid, kid, Kitty just vanished. Yeah, but Kitty also is in comfort in his onesie, and is fed, and doesn't have to do his own laundry, so who's the real winner here? I will say Kitty also does have that really cool water-bouncing ability. Yeah. Also, he can ride. He can uh, jump on barrels and ride them. DK can't yeah. do that. No, DK can yeah. do that. You can definitely do that in the original Donkey Kong Country. It's a lot harder to do in that game. Yeah, but he can still do it. I prefer just being able to jump on the the rolling barrels. Well, also in the first game, when you did throw the barrels, there was no way to affect their momentum. You only had one speed, and it was fast. Yeah. 
Uh, but in the very first level, you could glitch and make Donkey Kong ride Donkey Kong. Dude, Donkey <laughs> Kong Country glitches are amazing. Like <laughs> that, That's like yeah. my favorite glitch from the first game, is to ride the barrel into Rambi and have Donkey it's riding kind of Donkey. donkey. <laughs> yeah. And then have Donkey's jumping animation on top of a uh, animal. On top of Donkey. Yeah, it's like, come on, get him all... This is a children's game, guys. <laughs> Please. I know that Rare is a bunch of perverts, but, um... You know, you can you can at least pretend to hide it a little bit better. Come on nope. now. <laughs> and I'm not just being mean. Like, if you look at any of the things they do, like, it's clear they... They're a bunch of weird, horny British people. So, uh, so, um... Um... We're in the credits, right? Why is the part ten minutes longer? Oh, because we have all the bonus stages. Oh, okay. Uh, I was afraid for a minute there. Did you think I just made a ten-minute part? Uh, no. <laughs> the rest of the part is credits! Oh, didn't you know, Lewis? Exotic, Donkey Kong Country Sonic Tropical Color. Freeze was produced by Ubisoft. <laughs> or, or, or the guys who made Sonic Colors. Oh no, my Sonic, god, the Sonic, Sonic Colors credits! Sonic Colors is not the only Sega game with obnoxious credits, alright? Unleash's credits were, like, eight minutes long. Uh, Sonic... Color, colors, colors were just particularly bad. Yeah, Colors were particularly bad, but Unleashes were about as long. Um... Unleashed kind of earned its long credits, though, by being one of the bigger Sonic productions. Sonic Colors was more of a budget title. <laughs> so... Have its credits were unnecessary and unnecessarily. Yeah, slow. but Sonic Col yeah, but at the on the counterpoint, Sonic Colors credits music kicks Sonic Unleashes credit music in the butt. Well, I, s uh, I, 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 that's my objective opinions about the subjective realm of music will not be argued here. Well, I, I'm just saying the music in the credits for Sonic Unleashed had some kind of story significance, whereas. In Sonic Colors, it was just kind of a song, so, you know, depending on what mood you're in, you might find the, the, the Unleashed credits better thematic. Guys, this is the start of this is the start of Mario Party 3. Great. What? Oh, oh yeah, it finds a, a present from a lying star in the sky who's like, I'm the best star, and then you find out, no, he wasn't the best star. He's just lying to you for the entire game, and the tournament you went and uh, put blood, sweat, and tears into is a meaningless lie. What's that? The stars lie? Yeah, no, we have, three, we have we have three bonus levels. Were weren't there more in the in returns? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So this and is a slight this is a slight bit downgrade, but also the bonus ones in returns are also obnoxiously hard, so I don't care. So Levit levitation station is that like adjacent to conjunction junction or what? Possibly. So, uh, do you unlock all the stages at once, or do you unlock them, Don't. like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And, uh, you, 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 if you beat all the Kong stages, you unlock the world and you just proceed as normal throughout, like, any other world. Okay. Speaking of Sonic, like, the architecture in the background is seriously giving me Sonic Unleashed vibes right now. It's like... A little bit. It's reminding me of, uh, of Dragon Road. I was thinking more Dragon Ball with Snake Thing. <laughs> snake Snake Way. Snake Thing, yeah. yeah. Snake Thing. Uh, you mean Filler Road? I, I... Hey, dude. All right, look. Dragon Ball, the new Dragon Ball Z game, is going to be the best game in the goddamn universe. <laughs> I know. It, Why? Because, because it's got the <laughs> best filler episode ever in of all time. Is going to be playable. I, I love video games. I'm, I, 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 the driving sequence, that will be fun. I'm wondering if they're going to include, like, the other filler stuff, though. Like, when. I, I think Jr. it probably will be just that one because it's so inf infamous. <laughs> I, I, it's just a video game of filler. Well, I mean. Yeah, so a Dragon Ball Z game, exactly. If they're going the RPG route, having the filler stuff makes narrative sense because video games are great at expanding worlds like that. And that's basically the only contribution filler ever makes to an anime. So, you want to know what I really want, though? I want there to be like leaderboards and time trials. 
I want there to be like an like expansive. Like a, like a, I want this to a, be a like an expansive community. <laughs> yeah, I want this to be like as expansive, if not more so, than the people who get really into like triple triad or that kind of stuff. You know, <laughs> I want there to be a Dragon Ball Racing spinoff that comes out two years after the game comes out because of how successful this racing mini game ends up being. All right, <laughs> I I need I need downloadable costumes where you get Piccolo with that stupid '90s hat. Okay. <laughs> This is what video games were made for. Activision <laughs> just strikes a deal to have Dragon Ball Z characters in their new CTR Grand Prix. Uh. It would get people to buy it. Yeah, and then they'll forget they're whining about microtransactions because we're sheep. We're <laughs> the sheepalest of all sheep. Yeah, they probably would yeah. forget, actually. But... <laughs> <sighs> Damn it, Activision. This now has me thinking about all the other, like, random kart racers that there's been. Oh, yeah, no, it can do a crossover with Garfield Kart and Hello Kitty Cruisers. Jack I'm still, X I'm, Combat uh, Racing. I'm, no, I'm still I'm still waiting for Uncarded. Uncarded. <laughs> you know, they, they, owe, they owe me Uncarded. <laughs> they've gone, they've, oh, what they've, was they've the gone, other one? The gone. Fast of Us? <laughs> yeah, the Fast of Us. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they, they can't can only, do they the can Fast can only, of Us until they've done three Last of Us games. It has to be a trilogy and then a car racer. What about that Mortal Kombat kart racing minigame from, uh, what was it? What was it, Deception? What did they call that one? Like, uh, I Mortal Kart? If it wasn't Mortal Kart Bat, because I really hope it was. I forget what it was called. <laughs> there was a, there was like a panel to pawn ripoff uh, puzzle game in one of them, too. Like, I mean, granted, I know that everybody's happy that Mortal Kombat's actually a good franchise now. Because for a really long time, it was not a good franchise. And so I understand that. But at the same time, I find all of the really bad Mortal Kombat stuff to be far funnier than anything good. more, And thus, to me, more interesting than anything good Mortal Kombat has done. So, you know. So, you know, we, we, we oh, should just... You should drop this whole being good and in making people happy thing to make me happy, specifically. I think, like, oh, we and... should all just be grateful that a single franchise has given us so much humorous bad and so much enjoyable good in the same lifetime. Is that... That's... And it was called... It was called Motor Combat, by the way. Motor Combat? Okay, that's still pretty good. <laughs> all right, I, I, can li I can live with that. <laughs> Lewis, I wasn't sure if you were referring to Mortal Kombat or Sonic. <laughs> well, you see, Mortal Kombat turned itself around. It's still... The, I mean, the, so did Sonic. The, 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 the jury's still, out, still on Sonic. out on that one. Right? No, they, 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 they turned things around, and then they went back to being bad for a while. They oh, what, for like turned, two years? They've turned things Please. around like three or four times. I wish they'd stay turned around. Uh, they keep turning around. It, it's <laughs> like he keeps spinning. Recalculating, recalculating. recalculating. Sonic <laughs> needs to get a new GPS, is what he needs. <laughs> Uh. Oh, is this level just all the crappy vehicles put together? No, there's some platforming. Like right here. <laughs> and Skyfish. Yeah, Skyfish. Well, better or worse than Sky Bananas from last game. You know what? You're right. I think I think it's better than Sky Bananas. What it? That whole fr that whole weird fruit motif was weird. Sky Bananas? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that there were just random floating fruits in for uh, the secret stages and returns. But they were like four times the size of Donkey Kong. All I know is that like the glowing blue on stone architecture here seriously makes me think we're doing a crossover with Breath of the Wild right now. <laughs> you just Donkey see, Kong. you just see Don Donkey Kong probably would just take a take a tablet and then think it's a Sheikah slate and then try to make the the like water turn to ice. And he'd wonder why it's not working, and then throw it at someone. Got half of the shrine of the silver monkey. This really is a. Um... That was the stupidest part of that show. I'll be honest. Yeah. It was three pieces. How do you fuck that up that badly? They're they're eight years old. Okay, it's three, three pieces. <laughs> Although apparently, from what I hear, the shoots were absurdly long. By the time the winners actually got to the temple, they were exhausted and just couldn't think straight. I I can understand that, but the shrine of the silver monkey was essentially the equivalent of putting a fucking ball through a hole. 
Okay, you know what? This is this is reminding me of like when my parents used to be really big into Survivor. You know, they'd be like, "Oh, what? Well, how can you miss miss that? Oh, that's so easy. How could you do that?" And I'm like, "Are you the one who's been on an abandoned island with no food or water for the past 12 days?" I don't think so, mom. It's yeah, it's reality. I'm sure they gave them shit. Uh, well, I'm not I'm not deep into the Survivor fan lore <laughs> anymore. Their Survivor myths. I, I, uh, I mean, there is, yeah. The show's still going. <laughs> uh, but okay, I mean, okay, wrong. okay to, to, to put it a slightly different way, I remember when um, you you remember the Amazing Race. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I is, actually the, always like that more than Survivor. Personally. Same here, but I remember one time, you know, me and my family are from Chicago, where one of the final rounds was in Chicago. So, one of the challenges was to eat like a large deep dish pizza from Gino's. And of course, you know, there are all these sk like super skinny fit people that do this. And they're like, oh, it's so hard. I'm getting so full. Oh, I feel sick. It's like, guys, people in Chicago eat this all the time. What are you talking about? It's not even that big. <laughs> it's so big, though. What? It's a fucking pizza. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you see, Ryan, here's the thing. They're not complaining that it's too big. They're complaining that they have to eat deep dish pizza. <laughs> Yeah, at least we have our own pizza, unlike Boston. Okay, look. You just eat, you just eat your rival's pizza, just submitting like that. <laughs> look, we have we have clam chowder. Okay, uh, Boston will never <laughs> Boston will never be known for its food, and I've accepted that. All right. <laughs> we'll just be we'll just be known by our uh, one, two, three, four, five, six glorious rings on Mr. Brady's right hand. All right. I mean. Jordan, six rings, baby. Okay, yeah. No greatest of all time. You don't even get to complain, c claim that as special. Uh, I don't know, man. All right. Okay, uh, 2020 is coming up real soon. <laughs> I'll just be over here laughing in Florida, man. You Florida see, I, man. I get to... Being able to ironically detach myself is great because I win either way. I can either laugh at all the people who hate the Patriots because they'll win, and then I get to laugh at all of them, or... You know, they won't win, and then I get to laugh at all the people who do like the Patriots because they lost. So this is this is great. This is why I love living in Boston. Actually, I don't. Whenever the Patriots lose a game, everybody in the entire goddamn town is in a bad mood for, like, two weeks. So... Are I'm there just, riots? Yeah, uh, there were... Well, not the they're, Patriots, they're... but when the Red Sox won the World Series, like, people, a, a girl, like, literally died. Like, she was, I think, run over by a car. Or something like that, because they were... Congratulations, riding. we unlocked hard mode for completing the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Unfortunately, we did not get a Nintendo 64 and a mountain bike. <laughs> Wait, so in hard mode, you can't bring in a buddy, which means that the game just becomes no, you, less you can, fun. You, yeah, you also, you also die in one hit. Uh, cool. It's called hard mode for a reason. It just sounds Wait. like not as fun mode, though. Exactly. Let's take away the gameplay mechanic that makes our game unique.